Hi, this week's project is we are going to hide the garbage cans on the front of my house. I just think they're so ugly when you see them and so we're going to make like a little gate, an enclosure for our ugly garbage cans and we'll make it beautiful. Our driveway used to be all gravel and when we had a concrete pad laid for it, I also had them do a little section for my garbage cans, which is honestly very nice. I'm very happy it passed Ashley for doing that. But now I want to add like a gate and a side fence for that section. It's going to be a pretty small 27 inches by 76 inches is going to be the interior space. And how we're going to start is we got to dig a hole for the post and that's going to, that's going to be the foundation for the rest of the enclosure. So we're going to dig it 18 inches deep and my husband is using a combination of a shovel at first when it's easier, but our ground is really rocky. So we also have a post digger. And then we put the post into the hole and at the top, it's a little hard to see. We have an attachment um, that you can add to any post with an elastic band. It's um, called a post level. So we gotta make sure it's level when we put it in there. And then we can add some gravel at the bottom and now we can add our cement to really set the post. So we do a little bit of cement, a little bit of water. If you do this, just make sure to read the instructions so you get the right amount of each. And then we're gonna let that sit and it just needs to sit an hour. We usually let it sit for 24 hours before removing the stakes that are holding it up. The next step in this project is installing the rails. So the rails are the horizontal pieces that go between the posts. And we're gonna do two because our fence is gonna be five feet tall and that's all the support they really need. For this project, our rails are gonna be 34 inches long. That goes from the back fence to the new post. And we're going to make sure it's level and then screw those on. Since we're working with an existing fence on the back, we had to take one of the fence pickets off so we could access our back post in order to do the screwing on of the rails. On the right hand side of our trash can enclosure is our garage and there's just concrete there so no dirt that we can dig into to make a post. So we're going to instead put our post onto the side of the garage and just attach it with screws. Next we're going to build a gate and this is what we're going to open in order to access the garbage cans. So to make this, we cut our two by four lumber into two lengths. For the top, we're doing 66 and a half inches long. And for the sides, we are doing 48 inches tall. And make sure to cut those on the miter so that they can fit together really nice and use screws to connect them at the corners. On the post that's connected to the garage, the first thing we're gonna do is use a table saw and make that a little bit skinnier so we can attach that on top. And then the hinges for the gate can be attached to that post on the side. So to support our gate even more, I want a diagonal piece, so we're gonna cut that. And the best way to do this is to put your two by four lumber on top of your gate and then just trace where it needs to be cut because it's kind of a, like a weird corner that you're just trying to fit in. So use your miter saw to cut that down to size and then use screws to attach that on the inside of the gate frame. And on the side of the gate frame where the hinges are gonna go, you can start putting on some pickets and those are gonna be five feet tall. Once you have the fence picket on the gate frame, you can attach the hinges. And so your gate is actually functioning, which is very exciting and a huge step. Now that the hinges are on, you just need to go across the front of the gate and continue to attach the fence pickets and make sure you are using a level so the top is nice and straight. Okay, so do you remember we had to take a piece of the fence picket off of the original fence so we could put up the rail? So now we're just using a jigsaw and cutting out a square so that the fence picket can be put back on the fence and it'll go around that rail. Now we just need to prep for stains. So to do that, my husband's just using the top of a broom and dusting off the top to remove any debris so that the stain will, you know, go on really nicely. And then he's also taping the hinges and putting down drop cloths. So the next thing to do is to stain all of the wood and we like a white stain just because it matches our fence and so this is going to blend in really nice. You can use whatever color you want though and the stain is going to protect the wood which is really important for the longevity of this garbage can enclosure and it took us three coats to get full coverage um, of the stain on the fence. Okay, so we have the post that we put in and it's still really tall so now we're going to cut that off. My husband's just using a sawzall and going straight across um, because we are going to put a post cap on. If you're not using a post cap, make sure to cut it on an angle so the rain and the snow won't just sit on the top, which can rot the top of the post. So to attach the post cap, all you have to do is use a few finished nails, and I love a post cap. I think it looks really nice and classy. And we are also going to stain that to match the rest of the fence, and we probably could have done this before staining. That would make more sense, but what can you do? 
So the very last step is to attach the rest of the gate hardware. So that's the handle and the lock. And you can take off the tape on the hinges and that finishes it up. And I think it looks really nice. It's funny because no matter what it looks like, it's gonna be better than looking at garbage cans, but I think it looks really classy and like gorgeous. So I'm really happy with this project. It definitely upped our curb appeal and I just, I think it's really fun. So I hope you liked this project. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos just like this one.